I'm a man of simple things. I like to go to bed early. I like to get up early. I like to make sure that my video game cartridges are all organized by alphabet. And I also like to make sure that my pants aren't on too tight, but they also don't hang around my ankles. Unfortunately, I am also a man who never bothers to check to make sure that his microphone is recording his voice when he's recording his playthroughs. So unfortunately, the rest of my video is going to be a post-commentary. Um, that said, you're still getting the playthrough uh, blind for the most part. I had no idea what was going on when I was playing the game. It's just post-commentary afterwards, huh? No? Nah? Yeah, I know, I'm sorry. I wish I could have done better, but I didn't realize this till after I had already finished, you know, recording and remixing everything and making sure it was all good to go in the movie makers, and uh, I'm disappointed in myself, but what are you going to do? So this is Lava Reef Zone as Knuckles. It's honestly not that different from Sonic's that I remember, but to be fair, I wasn't paying a lot of attention when I was playing through Sonic's Lava Reef Zone. And when I say that, I mean, I was paying attention to the game, but I was, wasn't was really paying attention to the layout that much, so I don't remember it as well. I only played it the one time. Or was it twice? I think it was twice. I don't remember. But uh, I remember while I was playing it, I hated it. <laughs> but looking back on it and looking at it now, it's actually not bad. I, I, I can honestly say I think I had fun, and I for fucking got wrecked by that goddamn... Uh, spike ball. I thought that my invincibility would save me. It did not. <sighs> and I found a uh, giant ring here by accident. I did not expect to see that there, but uh, go figure. You try to climb a wall and suddenly everyone's throwing giant rings in your face. And you know, uh, I, did, I can't believe I actually thought that I wouldn't be able to get all the giant rings when I first played this game. Like, there, there are stupid amounts of giant rings in this game. Like, oh my god. I thought there were one or two when I was first starting out. And think I, in fact, I think I said that during my uh, Let's Play um, of Sonic. I think I said that during my Green Hill Zone Let's Play. And oh my god, just the amount of special stage rings that you can come across are stupid. Oh man. It is just nuts. But you know what? I decided, if I remember correctly. Oh no, wait, no. I did decide to go all the way up there. I decided that there was no point in running over to the right. So I was just going to go up to the Sonic Special Room and get the Special Rings if I could somehow manage to uh, make the jump. And then I decided I was going to climb the wall and decide to jump over. And that worked out just fine. But yeah, so... In retrospect, Knuckles' playthrough wasn't as different as I thought it would be, which kind of depressed me. I expected more. I expected, like, you know, a lot of change and some more interesting level designs and maybe... A completely different level layout for a Knuckles level, you know. But didn't really get that. Mostly, it just kind of felt like we got shortcuts with Knuckles that weren't really that important to begin with. Like, I mean, I don't really... I can't really think of anything off the top of my head throughout the last, like, you know, three levels that we go through. I don't really think there was anything different for Knuckles. In fact, unfortunately, spoiler, he doesn't even have a final boss fight, which depresses me. Like, come on. Knuckles can go super, and we really can't bother to give him a final boss fight where he can go super. Like, really? Like, yeah, Sonic's supposed to be the hero, but for the love of God, guys, come on. Like, let's, let's give Knuckles something, at least. I mean, let's give him a reason to have the ability. Yeah, it's nice that you included it, but I would rather have a special stage unlocked because I bothered to get them playing as Knuckles. You know, that's just... just a minor annoyance. But... You know, aside from that, it was it was worth a playthrough as Knuckles. It was fun. The differences were interesting. Like in Mirage Saloon and Green Hill Zone, there's really two honest differences that I can honestly say right off bat were actually different. You know, you had a stage one to... Uh, Mirage uh, Saloon in uh, Green Hill Zone, you actually started underground, so there were differences, noticeable differences. The rest of the game, not so much. At least, again, not anything noticeable. Excuse me. 
But yeah, I wanted more. I didn't get as what I, I didn't get what I thought I would get, which disappoints me. But I'll go more into that with my review. Which, again, it's gonna sound weird because technically, if you're watching this, then my review is probably already out. If it's not, then I'm probably dead. But yeah. Um, but I haven't recorded my review yet as of the time of recording this particular video of the Let's Play. But I have the script written out and everything, and it's just a matter of, you know, sitting down and recording it. Because I have all the footage and everything. It's just a matter of sitting down and putting it together. But that will be coming soon. And when I say soon, I mean probably next week. And the date today is September 2nd, so... <laughs> I wonder if anyone's actually going to be watching this. If you're watching this... Hi, all the way out there, October 20-something. Maybe not quite the 20-somethings, but it's it's like mid-October right now, I think. Uh, I'm recording this, yeah, uh, September 2nd, <laughs> 2017, and it's going up sometime in October. And the only reason I know that is because I've used the YouTube scheduling system. And hey, I died. Go me. I spent a lot of time on this level, like, you don't, this is probably going to be the longest video in the entire series, and for the love of god, I spent way too much time, more time than I wanted to, in Lava Reef, and I don't know why, but this just dragged on and on and on. Now, this part of the level, I actually think, is original. For Knuckles, I mean. I could be wrong, but I don't think you can get here as Sonic. Hey, look! A golden ring! A giant ring! And you know, part of me, I'm pretty sure that most of my complaints about not having a lot of Knuckles differences is because that I'm not, you know, uh, exploring a lot. But like, for example, we're in Sonic stage right now, and we're going to remain in Sonic stage for like, the rest of the level. We were only in that Knuckles section for Hey, look at that. I'm going backwards. Yay. Double yay. Yay me. Oh, jeez. And we finally made it to the midway boss. After eight minutes of pure torture. And the thing with beating this boss is exactly like in Sonic's. You just have to avoid him and make him dive on the lava. And once his armor's gone, then you can destroy him. Really not that hard. Unfortunately, I'm retarded. So, I decided to try to attack him every time he's glowing red. You know, because I'm not smart. You're supposed to wait for him to cool down, you idiot. God, I just want to smack myself. <laughs> you could have jumped into him, you know? I mean, like, yeah, don't bother to get up and actually do anything. Hey, look, I got three hits in. Now I just need another three. One. Two. Okay, maybe I only needed five. I lied. Sue me. Huh. <sighs> And after nine minutes of pure agonizing torture, we actually got through the boss and beat Act 1. Now we're going to move on to Act 2, and it's going to drag on even longer. I bet money on it. Why doesn't that elevator have a track that it's riding? I call bullshit. That's not how that works. You need a track for that ri elevator to go up and down. It doesn't have one. It can't do that. Also, apparently Knuckles can push the uh, crabs to make them go faster. I did not know that. Uh, you know, it's not worth it going the top route. Let's go the bottom route for once. I get crushed! Lovely. 
You know, I'm a better player than this. I know I'm a better player than this. I want to pretend that I'm a better player than this. Mom, why aren't I better? Why am I not a better player than this? Sheesh. Sheesh. Ugh. Ugh. Yuck. Yuck. Ugh. Those are gonna be like my catchphrases. Usually I say something like that when I'm not sure what else I'm supposed to say. Or what I can say next. And usually I start explaining myself when I have no idea what I'm supposed to say either. You could call this nervous, reactionary, involuntary speaking. And I made my way all the way back to the friggin' front of the level. I'm a retard. It really sucks that I didn't get all my commentary that I wanted, because I had some funny stuff that I was saying. It made me laugh while I was doing it, but I don't remember what it was now. <laughs> that's what we call being retarded. Or, that's what we call being stupid. Yeah, that's that's the word, stupid. Because retarded's not an insult. Well, I mean, depending on who you're talking to. You know, I don't even know why I bothered trying to go up here. There was no point to it. There's nothing up here for me. I should have just left. Actually, I think I did give up. I don't remember if I did. I, I'm pretty sure I did. Because I'm pretty sure I got up here and maybe I think there's a ring up here. And then that was it. Yep. I got a ring. And then it dropped me and I was like, you know what? Screw this. You know, this guitar riff right here, that that really reminds me of like an 80s soap opera main theme, like an opening intro for a soap opera. Like, I don't know why, but it's just, it's very calm and it gives you that same, it's just, it's weird. It reminds me of like early One Life to Live or something. My mom used to watch One Life to Live in General Hospital a lot, so those are very ingrained into my mind. It's very weird. I didn't know Lava Reef could be a soap opera. That'd be fucking hilarious. Lava Reef the soap opera. I wonder who it stars. Oh, jeez. Those freaking exploding crab things are everywhere. What are they, hermit crabs? They explode and they send shrapnel everywhere. Why does... Why do they happily explode like why are they happy to blow up like you shouldn't be happy to blow up being happy to blow up sucks having to blow up sucks like life is good you should you should enjoy life robot guys you shouldn't work for Eggman you should just you know live your life your life isn't meant to be blown up your life isn't meant to be crushed your life isn't meant to be anything but what you make of it you just need to you know be your own you know hermit crab thing explosions and not die you know I keep trying to go for that hyper ring it's just not worth it so we're gonna try to go up here now and hey guess what fire hurts fire hurts bad past me don't never mind Past me is really impulsive and decisive and doesn't like to wait for things. Patience is a virtue. Patience is a very, very strong and useful virtue. One that I should learn, like, a lot. If I learn patience, it'll prevent me from doing really, really stupid and idiotic things. Like, you know. This. Do I make it up? Do I make it up? I do. And then I wait, and then I climb up again and get burned. Lovely. You think I would have learned, but I didn't. It took three times, three times, for me to finally learn how to get the freaking fire shield. Three. Past me is not very smart. Burn me while you can, but you can't because I have a fire shield. So your traps are useless. Haha. -ha. Ugh. God, I'm making myself cringe just saying stuff like that. <laughs> Laugh while you can, Sonic, because you'll never leave this room alive. 
Ha ha! Oh god. Crazy Gadget was a fun level. Come on, we can do this. You know, um, for the record, we actually don't share all the same final bosses as Sonic, and we get one of my favorite references that pops up at the end of this level. Something that lets me know that my childhood is still fully intact. Or possibly intact, if we get a sequel. I hope we get a sequel. We need a sequel to this game. We really, really need a sequel. This is a game that, it's alright, it's really, really fun, but it really, really begs for a sequel. Like, there is no way of getting around it. This game deserves, absolutely 100% deserves a sequel. Really, Sega, please do not just make this a one and done, you know, little throwaway experiment. This game, this game is sequel worthy. This game is series worthy. Give us a Sonic 1, 2, and 3 for the new generation, and we'll call them Sonic Mania 1, 2, and 3. That, that would be so cool. And you have the perfect person to do it. This is the perfect time, Sega. Cash in on all that nostalgia and make good games. Good, fun games. Also, get rid of that, uh, that, uh, DRM. You have Steam, you don't need anything else. You really don't. Also, at least we can play the game offline now. That's a win. Eesh. It's early in the morning here. I should consider going to sleep. I should consider a lot of things. Unfortunately, I didn't learn that you not, can't jump up there. So I just decided to go this way. Hey, look at that. We're almost done. But are we actually going to survive this level? Well, no, because I decided to be a dumbass and jump down. Yeah, look at that. You were supposed to climb up. But how was I supposed to know that? The little dip in the ground made me think that I was supposed to go down there. I mean, you know, God forbid I actually tried to do something that I think the game's hinting at. It could at least say that there's a bottomless pit down there or something. <laughs> or it, it could at least better telegraph where you're supposed to go. I mean, granted, it's Knuckles, you can climb walls. I mean, why wouldn't you try to climb the walls? But still. Like, come on. That one felt a little cheap. Only a little, though. Because as you can see, once we get right back over there, I just climb up to the top and everything's hunky-dory. Again, for the most part. And this did turn out to be one of the longer episodes of the series. Like, not intentionally or anything, it's just this was such a slow level to make my way through. Especially as Knuckles. And I didn't even die that often. Like, okay, I did die a little bit, but come on. You can't tell me that this level isn't just a little bit long. And it could also, you know, my gliding skills could use some improvement too. I'm not even going to pretend that they're perfect. Hey look, fire bed. You think I'd learn that? At least a fire shield's really helpful here. Also, we're reaching the end of the level, finally. I know, right? I was already here, but we actually are close to the end of the level. Like, really, really close. Like, the fact that I died earlier is kind of a disappointment and a disgrace. But we are, like, really, really close to the end game. Well, end level. More or less. So instead of jumping down, we're going to climb up this time and see what's up here. Hey look, a fire trap, but it's not going to work on me because I have a fire shield. Not that it would have worked on me anyway, because I mean, you know, I'm me, but 
now we make it to the final boss of this particular stage which isn't the pink one like it was in Sonic's stage instead no ladies and gentlemen we're actually going to fight the leader and are those grayed out super emeralds <laughs> Oh god, I love that. This game really had a lot of pot. This game really has a lot of polish to it. There you go, Knuckles. You actually did something right and protected the emeralds for once. Oh my god. Unfortunately, that didn't save you from getting wrecked by the king dude with his little laser thing. But you avoided the getting you avoided getting the emerald stolen, which is nice. Good for you. Also, I would not try to smack him while he's being electric. While he's drawing the electric energy up, that would that would probably be, that would probably be bad. You'd probably get shocked. You'd probably die. Or well, I mean, you've taken volts to the face before, so you probably wouldn't die, but it'd still be a painful experience. Not one I recommend. Really not worth it. So also, this dude is surprisingly easy, especially for like an end game boss. It's kind of stupid how easy he really is. But yeah, taken care of. And until next time, guys, I will see you. Or until next time, guys, I'm Nobody. And I will see you on the next episode when we tackle Mechanical Madness. Metal Madness. One of those two. It's the Sonic CD stage. Anyway, until then, peace.